Hello and welcome to Estadio Morumbi, home to one of the powerhouses of Brazilian football, Sao Paulo FC. And our live game is the Netherlands against Germany. My name is Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game, it's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. Then the lineups for this game. And that gets things running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Um, Matt Hummels deserves a mention. He's earned many plaudits through his controlled, aggressive approach and discipline. He'll pick your pocket as opposed to going right through you. And it's a style, I think, that many young aspiring defenders should have a look at. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Brichetli Bazor. Luke de Jong plays it out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. That intervention was very necessary. Leno gets it upfield. Strutman. Now the pass. Mats Hummels. Mattia. Tries a through ball. Royce. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Mats Hummels. Pushes it out wide. Sané. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Tony Kroos goes short, up to meet it! Harmlessly behind. It's been such a positive start, I think the next step has to involve tucking one away. Tries the route one option. On the right now, what's on? Looks to slip it through. Mathieu. Crunching tackle. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Well positioned to make that interception.
Mathieu out wide to the right. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Cruz. Oh, he's come flying in. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Brings it forward, passes it through, and he's cut it out. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Yeah, the communication lines were working really well, but the supply line just had a bit of a blockage. Tony Kroos tries a through ball. Royce gets into a good position. Terence Congolo pumps it forwards. Aim forward. Strutman. Now it's Luke de Jong. It's Luke de Jong! It's anyone's ball. Oh, didn't catch it right. Oh, look, the chance was an unexpected gift, which he should have taken. Um, that wasn't a pretty sight. Is it out of harm's way? Big chance! Oh, well defended, that had to be done. Now the pass. Royce. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. Finish of the highest order. Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Brichetli Bazor. Germany are leading with half time drawing close. Steered out wide. Now, can they make something of it? Royce. Oh, they could break here. Looks to slip it through. Sticks in a foot to win it back. We hit half-time. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Germany go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Germany carry a one-goal lead into the second half. 
Jerome Boateng. And it's Robin. Battles to win it back. Tony Kroos, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. Sane. Oh, that's neat. Cuts it back. In with a header! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there. They've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung-ho, and only a goal will do for them. Shedley Bazor. Aimed long and direct. Looks like a good ball through. Strutman. He'll hit it! And it's Royce. Sane. Now it's Royce. Knocks it towards the front. Sane. Played into the middle. He's there to get rid. He's going to have to tune his rangefinder before the next one. Pumps it upfield. Robin passes it through. Mats Hummels. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Cuts it out. Working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. There's some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Stroop. Thrust towards the front line. Sané plays it out to the wing. And he's whipped it in low. And managed to get it away. Who's going to make this theirs? Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. <laughs> it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Ball's gone out of play. The Netherlands, their final change. What a delicate ball. Gets his head to it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Germany had players queuing in the box in that situation, and they've still got nothing to show for it. What a complete and utter waste. Now it's Royce, out to the left it goes. Goes for the cross, and that's been repelled. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that, he needed to deliver a better ball. Plays it into the channel, Memphis to Pai. Well, the odds were right up against them, but they saved themselves with some very good defending. Well, if ever a tackle had to be made, that was about the perfect example. They were completely caught out by the break, and they got themselves into last resort territory. What a saviour. Spoon forward. Forward it goes. He's made sure that that won't get through. Mats Hummels. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's picked him out. Aimed long and direct. Germany leading here by this still precarious 1-0 margin. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Now just moments away from a semi-final place. Strutman plays it out to the wing. 
good challenge. He just stood firm. Now the pass. Ball through needs to be good here. It's in! Two ahead, late in the day. Game over, surely. I just think he showed a lovely appreciation of where that defensive line formed and he held his run until just the right moment and he broke the offside trap and uh, he took full advantage, that's top marks for me. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. <laughs> Tries a through ball. Muller gets it into the middle. Can he finish? Too close for comfort. <laughs> Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Yeah, that does look a foul, referee's given a free kick. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Sané. Now it's Royce. Sané. Chance! a hit! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! And surely that settles it! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball-watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. There is the final whistle. And on to the semi-final, another hurdle cleared, next up, the penultimate step. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Look, we saw some textbook football from white areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the white areas. Another point I can make is that the foundations for this win were placed near both touchlines because they were able to build attack after attack with little resistance.